Hi again, it's Ingrid back again with our second half of our tutorial. You'll now see that it's quite nicely set, our first layer. So now what we will do is we take our larger pots, pot A, and scoop it back into our mixing bowl. Again, be careful to get all of the liquid out. Spread the sides. And get everything out if you can. Okay. And then you take B, which is your hardener. So, once you have them both in your cup, just mix it up nicely. So you can see again your milky colour with the little strings, little strands in it that you want to get rid of. So you keep stirring. And scrape. takes a bit longer for the second one because it's quite a bit more of the resin that we're mixing so it's going to take a little bit longer but I think it's nice to do this in real time because if you want to do it you can do it with me and then you don't have to keep pressing pause every five minutes to catch up I'm going to leave it just to set for a little bit so the bubble can go to the top and while I do that I'm going to take my glitter container. You've got two little containers. The one will have a powdery stuff in that is the pigment and then the other one will have your glitter. So I'm taking my glitter, just pop it open which is not so easy when you've got a bit of resin on your fingers. Okay, pop it open. I've given it a little bit of a shake to move, mix the colors around nicely. And then just sprinkle it as evenly as you can on top. Like that. This is a holographic silver with a green that I added to it because of the frost. Right, going back to this, you see now all the bubbles have come very nicely to the surface. So we're going to blow that again. Please excuse my cat, she's just a grumpy old lady. Okay, now we're going to take a little container with a pigment powder in. And using our stick, because you're not going to use all of it, just about so much, a little, little bit. Add it to our mix. You can keep this for later if you want to use it for something else and mix it in. The more of the pigment that you mix in, the more solid your color is going to be. I don't want it to be too solid, and you can see it's got a very nice metallic look to it. Looks really, really nice. Okay. 
Now we to blow it again. And then, without moving the glitter around too much, you're just going to pour it on top. And that is basically all you need to do for now. And this is when you take your stick and you keep it in your container while it dries. When it's dry, it will all come out with a big crack and your container will be clean again. So just leave that on one side to dry. Again, we're just going to leave your mold to dry nicely in a nice dust-free area. And um, this should take about... Oh, eight hours to dry enough to be able to take it out of the mold so you're going to have to wait for round three of all the videos to be able to see uh, how it's going to look at the end just while I'm talking I can see there's a bubble that's coming out so just keep an eye to check on bubbles there we go and I will see you later.